Hello everybody, I'm Brandon from the Backroom Crew, and I'm here because DB wants me to continue the campfire story. So let's pick up from where he left off, alright? <clears throat> and then these two companions came across the massive forest. The light shone through the canopy is giving off a warm, inviting glow. The two agreed that this could be a fun trek and decided to press on, moving deeper and deeper into the forest. As the adventurers continued, it became apparent that it was getting dark. However, it was soon clear that this was no sunset that they were experiencing. The sounds of rustling leaves could be heard all around, and the trees seemed as if they were breathing. The young lady, Kareen, stumbled over a strange mass, but managed to regain her footing as she grabbed hold of a tree. It was at this moment that she noticed that the tree it was not what she was touching. Instead, a series of pulsating vines laid beneath her hands. She scrambled back out of fear, alerting her companion of her distress. Horatio quickly rushed to her aid. The forest had become so dark by this point that it, he was unable to clearly make out the outline of her body. He reached into his rucksack in hopes of finding something that would help ease the, the stress of darkness. Fumbling in frantic dismay, he was only able to find a lighter, excess clothing, rations, and two water canteens. He tore a single garment and wrapped a small portion of the scraps of cloth around one end with tender woven in between these scraps. He then lit the makeshift torch and saw that they had become surrounded by writhing vines that seemed to be closing in on and around them. Corrine had already become entangled by this point as the vines bound themselves to her arms and legs. Horatio frantically swung the makeshift torch in hopes of driving back the amalgamation. Several vines suddenly righted themselves into makeshift spears and began to lunge at the two fallen companions. Alright, it seems that I'll be stopping right there. Andre, I'm calling you out next. Let's see what happens.